Hi, this is Sherry and Brenna here with The Little Shop of Physics, here to talk to you about Activity 3, which is called, What is the Difference Between Red and Blue Light? That's right, so students should have already learned that light has different wavelengths and thus different frequencies. And in this activity, we're really making the connection between frequency and energy super clear. Yeah, that's right, Brenna. In this activity, students will get to play with different colors of light to see how they behave differently. So what all is included in this kit, Sherry? Yeah, in this kit, you're, the students will have glow-in-the-dark paper, um, and they'll also have a blue or purple light and a red light. Awesome. So students shine the different lights on the paper, and, and then what happens? Yeah, exactly. So as we can see on the glow-in-the-dark paper, blue, ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. Yeah, makes the paper glow. Whereas red, red doesn't. Uh, does nothing actually. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. And that makes sense because uh, blue has a shorter wavelength, higher frequency, thus higher energy than that red light. Yeah, red just doesn't have enough energy to excite the paper and make it glow. So you said excite the paper. What are we throwing at a party or how does that work? <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good question. Um, with light, we can think of light as being uh, acting like a wave or acting like a stream of particles. Um, for these higher energy, uh, shorter wavelengths of light, um, I like to think about them as photons. So uh, in this case, what we could say is that blue photons go into the paper. Um, they're absorbed by the atoms in the paper, knocking their electrons up into higher energy orbitals. Well, some of that energy is lost due to heat. And so the photon that gets re-emitted is a lower energy, longer wavelength green photon. Oh, okay, so the red is just not high enough energy to even move those electrons up. Exactly. Awesome. Uh, so what are some things that instructors should be on the lookout for when they're doing this activity with students? Yeah, well with this one especially, you'll want to have the, the room lights uh, dimmed. Um, otherwise your overhead lights in the room or sunlight coming in from a, a nearby window um, will just um, saturate the paper and make it glow on its own. And we want the magic to come from these little uh, keychain lights. Um, you can also have students try other sources of light, maybe uh, their cell phones um, or uh, sunlight from outside. Um, uh, and yeah, and they can just try all sorts of things. We really encourage creativity. Uh, might even have them try mixing the two okay. colors of lights and see what nice. happens there. Awesome. And if your students find out anything cool or discover something that you don't know about, please send it our way. You can go to our website, scroll down to our email, and give us a shout out. And you can also find lots of good resources on the website as well. That's right. All right. Well, thank you. That's it for this one. We'll see you in the next video.